Despite what many people say in the cryptocurrency space, I still believe in the long-term success of VeChain. Now this will be a much shorter and more straightforward version of another video I made called Will VeChain Make You a Millionaire? As a quick disclaimer, I do own some VeChain which I intend to keep for quite a while. It's not my only investment but I just wanted to share that to be transparent about that before we started. Now you might have heard about VeChain or you already have invested in it and you want to know more about the project and how it can improve the lives of uh, many people by eliminating fraud and improving the supply chain. Therefore, I'd suggest that you watch till the end of the video to see the big picture and see why VeChain technology is definitely part of my portfolio. And at the end of the video, I'm hosting a small feedback competition if that's something that interests you. Since I do not want to waste your time, I will post some timestamps to the different key parts in the video. Now, VeChain is a blockchain-based platform that records what happens at every stage of the supply chain. I think that's very interesting. So it combines physical tracking with blockchain records to keep track on real-time world products from production to delivery. Now, the way it does that is actually really simple. Each product is given a unique identity and then they use sensors to track what happens at each stage of the supply chain. And with that way, companies can also be sure that the products are handled correctly, maybe with the correct temperature, and consumers can verify that their products and purchases are legitimate or are also being transported in a good way. Now, quick trivia knowledge. Did you know that VeChain publishes regular financial reports to promote transparency and these um, financial reports, you can find the link to them in the description below. Now, VeChain was founded in 2015 by Sonny Lu and he was the former CIO of uh, Louis Vuitton China. And his combined, uh, he combined his expertise in luxury goods with blockchain technology. And with that, he created the Internet of Things application for supply chain management. Now, he, he remains the CEO of VeChain through a nonprofit called the VeChain Foundation. Now, its structure is designed for the movement of goods and services across the supply chain, making its token, the VET token, a utility token. So not only that, it also has a two token system. Now, one type of token funds the project and the other powers the blockchain. Now, VeChain has also been very strategic when it comes to partnerships, securing national level partnerships with China as it develops smart cities. Now, the big question is, how does VeChain work? And of course, you can look at VeChain in three different parts. So you've got the real world tech, the cryptocurrency, and the platform. VeChain works by giving a physical product a unique identity. And now usually that's through RFID, so radio frequency identification tags, QR codes, or also NFC tags. Now, sensors record the information at every stage of the supply chain and this information is recorded and linked to the product's identity. Now, these sensors are designed specifically by VeChain and are created by manufacturers like Bosch and Qualcomm. Since it uses blockchain technology, the recorded data can be changed. Now, this allows for a very truthful record of what conditions were like throughout the whole supply chain where the temperature restrictions met, for example. Now, if anything went wrong, like goods being shipped to the wrong place, the blockchain record will show exactly where the mistake happened and how you can fix it in the future. Now, it also allows the receiver, so the buyer of the goods, to check that everything was handled correctly and that the items are authentic. For example, if I'm in a store and I wanna buy some products, I can scan the QR code as an example, and I can see where the product is coming from. Now, this is especially important for tackling fraud in the luxury goods sector, like for high-end handbags as an example, or maybe wine or um, meat, actually even meat. A small chip is placed inside the handbag, which when it's scanned, it reports in the whole process it has been through on its journey from production to delivery. Now, that chip remains even after the handbag is sold, making it possible for an owner to buy the used bag on eBay and still verify it is authentic. Now, the cryptocurrency 
of VeChain. So VeChain originates through tokens known as Ben on Ethereum before it released its own platform in 2018. So at the beginning it was ERC20 token. Now with this new platform came also a bit of a rebranding and it's now VeChain Tor known as VET. Now VET is the payment using VeChain system. The more VET a personal enterprise holds, the higher priority when it comes to using the blockchain's resources. Now, an interesting thing with VET is that it can also be used to generate a second kind of token known as VTOR or TOR Power VTHO. Now, to access the supply chain technology, you have to use this VTHO. So, a company that wants to use VChain's tracking for the supply chain has to pay VTHO of VeChain Tor in order to add more information to the blockchain. Now what about the platform behind all of this? So the platform that is used to do all of this is known as the mainnet and it can also be used by other blockchain projects to launch their own coin on VeChain's system and this is a very similar method that Ethereum uses with their ERC20 tokens. So different companies can have their own coins as ERC20 tokens. Now VeChain uses a model called Proof of Authority. Now there's no puzzle cracking required, just an approved group of people called the validators. Now each validator runs computer software that validates new additions to the blockchain. And this makes transactions a lot faster than proof of work and proof of stake protocols. It's also an attempt to strike a balance between total decentralization and centralization. Now the system is exclusively geared for, for mass enterprise adoption. Its real world tech has been in use since 2015 when it developed uh, NFC tracking chips to be placed inside of handbags for a French luxury brand. Then in 2016, VeChain applied this tech for the Renault car company to track vehicle history and it also keeps track of maintenance mileage and anything else that has happened in the car from the time it first hit the road. Now this unchangeable record can be accessed by used car buyers to give them a complete account of the vehicle. Uh, this is a very huge boost to tackle issues like odometer fraud which is very rampant. Now VeChain has also announced partnerships with for example BMW and other car companies in Europe and Asia. This technology has applicability in several other industries and VeChain has also hinted at other major collaboration in the works. Now how can you buy some VET if you want to buy some, if you want to start investing? They can buy on exchanges like Binance and Wobi, you can find the links down below. Now, what does VeChain's future look like? So now that uh, VeChain is equipped with its own platform, has a solid track record of delivering on promises and secure desirable partnership with major companies, in my opinion, the sky is the limit. Now, Donald Taft Scott, the president of the Blockchain Research Institute, made some very interesting observations recently. So, Donald believed that the blockchain technology is growing and its adoption is gaining around the world. He also mentions a growing transfer of the 50 trillion supply chain industry to the blockchain. Now, Tapscott went a step further by quoting companies like FedEx, which he says wants to rebuild all of its activities on the blockchain. Now, with all the benefits this change will bring to this new technology, which platforms will benefit the most? Now you might be wondering and he further said there are several blockchains focused on supply chain market however the one which clearly is dominating the market the supply chain market at the moment is VeChain VET. Currently there's a number of companies using the VeChain blockchain in the real world practical application so one of them is DNVGL and uh, DNVGL is um, allows businesses to use the VeChain blockchain to track uh, product and learn about its identity. As per the DNVGL website, three Italian winemakers are already using this technology. 
and this matters a lot because it eliminates the problem of counterfeit wine and this is a very big problem in the global supply chain not just winemaking but also in other sectors essentially with the lead that Beechin has been able to prove through practical demonstration of its operations it should adopt faster than any other blockchains around so in addition VeChain has the goodwill of one of the world's most strategic sourcing countries namely China China plays a strategic role in VeChain's growth as it accounts for a significant share of the 50 trillion US dollar supply chain market. Almost everything shipped to the world comes from China. Raw materials also arrive in China 24 hours a day from all over the world and this makes it a strategic market for VeChain's future by giving manufacturers more control over what they produce. In a nutshell, holders of VeChain hold a high growth asset. And since blockchain technology is still in its infancy, I see a lot of potential also for the supply chain market, which is massive. Now, once this becomes a truly mainstream technology, the future of high utility blockchains like VeChain will be very promising. Thanks a lot for watching this video. To close this up, as I don't want to make this video too long, I'd like to ask you for a small favor. Please write in the comments down some feedback. If you've got some feedback about this video, about this channel, it can be anything from suggesting topics or different suggestions on what to cover or how I can improve. I will go through all of your suggestions and the one that helps me the most will get a thank you gift of 5,000 VET tokens. Now, you can find the information down below in the description and please do not forget also to attach your VeChain address so I can send these tokens to that address. Now, I'm looking forward to your submissions and I'll see you on the next one.